Hey, what is up, everybody? Michael Crump back here again, talking about the latest and the greatest in PlayStation homebrew news and much, much more. So just the other day, I spent some time putting together a video talking about the latest PlayStation 4 and 5 kernel RCE, or remote code execution. And what we learned out of that was, was that there is a proof of concept that folks can go ahead and start playing with today. What I thought would make an interesting video would be for us to go ahead and set up our machine and try it on one of our PlayStations. So that's what we're going to do. So let's just go ahead and jump straight into it right now. So the very first thing that you'll obviously need is going to be an exploitable PlayStation 4 on a 11.0 and lower or a PS5 on 8.20 or lower. For the test today, I'm just going to run this on one of my PlayStation 4s that's setting at 9.00. The next bit of hardware that you're going to need is going to be an Ethernet cable that you can plug into the back of your PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 5 and then connect that directly to your PC. So you will need an Ethernet cable. And the rest of it is just going to be software. So if you come up here, you can always just click on the download the zip, and then you'll get a zip file which contains this script right here. Now, one of the tools that I use to edit this is Visual Studio Code. That's obviously free. You can just download that if you want a good editor to work with. And then the other piece of software that you will need will just be NPCAP. So this is a packet capture library. It works on Windows. Go ahead and download it. Once you download it, you should see this installer right here. So at the time of recording, 1.79 is the latest version. So I'm going to go to I agree. And then we're only just going to keep this one check mark on right here. And now we're going to press install finish. Okay, so I've went ahead and I've opened up that Python script in Visual Studio Code. And there are just three lines that you are going to need to change. So the very first one is the MAC address of your adapter. And keep in mind, that is your Ethernet adapter that is on your PC. Now, there's one other piece that you need that's coming from your PC, and that is the interface right here. Now, they recommended that you get this information from an IP config slash all, and you can absolutely do that. I found it just easier just to go ahead and pull up my network and internet and then look for ethernet and then I could see that right here is the description but I can also copy and paste that out of here which makes it really easy to copy over so go ahead and copy your description and place it inside of the script right here under interface as you can see mine has already been updated the other thing that we will need is going to be the MAC address of the adapter on your PC. So switching back over to network and internet and ethernet here, as you can see right down here is the MAC address. So one thing to note is that you can go ahead and you can copy this out. But as you're putting this back into the script, as you can see right here is mine. So make sure that there is an X that is at the front of the MAC address. So mine again was 04, and then it went to 7C. You're just gonna to wanna to make sure you put this X in there. And then the last piece that you're gonna need is going to be the MAC address of the PS4 or the PS5. And so on both the PlayStation 4 and the PlayStation 5, if you go to the system information screen, once it's obviously plugged into your PC, then you will see that there is going to be a MAC address and you're going to want the one that says LAN cable. Again, this is very important here. Make sure you pick the one that says LAN cable. If you pick the one for Wi-Fi, this absolutely won't work. So once you have the MAC address there, all you'll do is you'll just simply put this in here for the destination and don't forget to put the X in front of it. Okay, and so that's really everything we need to set up or configure as far as the script goes. Now we need to go ahead and run it. So go ahead and open a terminal or command prompt, but just make sure you run those as an administrator. I've done this multiple times. I didn't run it as administrator and I've wasted a bunch of time, 
So hopefully I save you. So once you do that, you will obviously see that it's running as an administrator up here at the top. The very first thing I want to make sure of is, is that you obviously have the exploit script located right here. It's just your Python script. And then let's just go ahead and make sure that you even have Python installed. So you can just type in Python and it should say 3 dot something. Mine's just on 3.11.7, which is more than enough to run this. And then we're going to need to run a command that's just pip install scapy, S-C-A-P-Y. And then just go ahead and press return. I've already got it located on my machine, so it does not need to update. And then finally, you'll just run it with a Python and then the name of the Python script. Now, if you run it right now, it's not going to be activated because the PS4 or the PS5 isn't on. But you can go ahead and run it just to test to see if there's any problems, which I found is super great. So I just went ahead and I pressed it. It's not finding anything, which is what I would suspect. But I do know that the script is running and compiling without errors, which is exactly where we want to be. Okay, let's switch over to the PlayStation 4 and take it from there. So I've just went ahead and I've turned on my PlayStation 4. This one is sitting at 9.00, which means that this one is going to be vulnerable. What I've also done is I've taken an Ethernet cable from the back of my PlayStation 4 and I've connected that directly up to my PC. So now let's go ahead and let's set up our PS4 to see our local PC. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and we will go back a couple of screens here. We're going to go up to where it says network and then we're going to go to set up an internet connection. Now we are going to be using a LAN cable here and we do want this to be custom. So once you press on custom here for the IP address settings, we're going to take PPPOE. And then for the username, I'm just going to spam some characters in here. So I'm just going to use the letter G and that should be good. You could pretty much put anything in there and then just go ahead and press next here. And for the DNS settings on this one, I'm going to change that to just be automatic and then automatic right here again. And then do not use for a proxy server. This is the screen that it is awaiting our Python script. So let's go ahead and let's switch over to Windows and let's run that Python script. There it goes. Okay, so it turned it off. That is very, very, very cool. So if we scroll up here just a little bit, what we can see is, is that it says that it ran this script. It sent one packet, and then it says beginning emission, and then finish sending one packet. And then we've got a bunch of text right here. And well, our PS4 is turned off. And so there you go. If you want to go ahead and start playing with this and experimenting with this, then you can go ahead and you can do so now. This obviously works for the PlayStation 5 as well, but it's the same exact standard steps as what I showed right here. So anyway, thank you so very much for watching and I hope you got something out of this video and I'll see you on the next one. Michael, out!